at my little seedlings and lovely flowers and welcome back to our cozy flower garden. Today I am back with another speed build for you all and today I have been inspired to build an Alice in Wonderland style tea party in the woods. I am really excited to do this, it's not something I would usually do so let's just jump straight into the speed build. So I have a little bit of terraforming to do and this area is behind the hidden butterfly garden and it's also to the left of my house area. So I'm going to be building a little pond that comes off of a little waterfall over here on the right. So that is what I am doing now. I also just wanted to say such a big big thank you to everybody for all the love I have received on my new YouTube art and channel art. It's been really heartwarming to hear you guys say such nice things about the artwork. I'm really happy that you guys love it just as much as I do. So here I have decided to connect this little river to the other little river that leads to the hidden butterfly garden. I thought that was kind of cute and now we have a little floating island up here. So now down here I'm going to start building a little pond just so the area is nicely terraformed and of course you guys know I just love waterscaping a lot so a nice pond would look good here. <laughs> and then I'm also going to connect it up to the waterfall on the left from my um, little spring forest video and that's just going to trickle down from that waterfall to this pond. And now I'm just adding in some little floating islands, floating little stepping stones into the water because I don't like it when it's just empty. It's just my personal preference, but I think it looks a, nut, a lot nicer and a lot more natural if I add some little floating islands. I also really tried my hardest to make this an area that would be viewable from the cliff in front of it. You'll see at the end how that turned out, but... I'm really hoping that I can do more areas like that all over my island, but we will see. <laughs> so now I'm just creating a couple of little cliffs just to enclose the area a little bit more, make it feel nice and cosy and terraformed, and so that it's not just one big, flat, empty plane of land. Now that the terraforming portion is done I'm going to start planting my trees and I did this with the seedlings because it's sometimes really difficult to grow the trees and then decide where you want to put them because you don't know how many of what size you need so I've gone back to doing it this way around for now at least so I'm just trying to make this nice and woodlandy And now here is how the area looks with the trees and I'm going to start planting some bushes in the area too. And 
And now that the bushes are all placed, I'm going to start laying out some pathing. I'm not going to be putting down too, too much um, path in this area because I have an idea that I just want to completely flood this area with flowers after I've done all the decorating. So I just do a little bit of um, the path here. And I have gone to using two paths instead of the reverse path because as you might have seen in, I think it was my last building video or maybe it was the one before that, I decided that the reverse path wasn't for me, I couldn't make it look good and I just wasn't vibing with it as much as I thought I would so I've gone back to using the regular, the path style, um, which I like a lot more. <laughs> Now I'm starting to lay down the decorations for the little tea party and I'm just trying to lay out all the items nicely. I wanted to try and fit some food items in here too, including the wedding cake, which I love. And I have been very excited to use it for something. <laughs> And I do end up chopping and changing some items here and there just to make the layout nicer. I didn't want anything to be kind of hidden behind other objects like the coffee cups because they're quite small. So I had to try and figure the layout a little bit. And then the reason I keep pulling the table in and out again <laughs> is because I want to get the items a certain orientation, which is kind of difficult to do on the tables sometimes. But then I realize now, watching this back, I could have just spun it around. And now in true Alice in Wonderland style, I noticed a lot of the time they have all different kinds of chairs so that is what I'm doing here I'm placing down a bunch of different cute chairs and I really love how it looked normally I would never do something like that because I like things to be even and I like everything to be matching but they match in their own way and it's really adorable <laughs> So I just popped down a wedding arch because I love a good wedding arch and then also some bears and a mum plushie of course I didn't want that to look like there was nobody <laughs> at this tea party. Now it's time for me to start flooding this area with flowers. It's almost like a tea party in a flowery forest which is very pleasing to me. <laughs> I also desperately need leave to visit after this because I am running dangerously low on flowers now. <laughs> All of the ones that I regularly loot, you, <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> All of the ones that I regularly, there we go, <laughs> regularly use, um, I've just depleted all of my resources. All I have left is white daisies or cosmos, sorry, and also the green mums. <laughs> That is basically all that's left of my supply. <laughs> mm. 
now I'm just going to go up onto the cliffs that are surrounding it and also plant some flowers and whatnot on top of there to make it all overgrown and pretty. there is something that I'm going to be doing on this side of the cliff eventually so I'm not going to flood this area with flowers just yet So that was my little Alice in Wonderland inspired tea party in the forest. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I might add a little bit more furnishings around the outer edges to make it look a little bit more cluttered because that's just my style at the moment, but we'll see. Otherwise, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this build and leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new, it would mean the absolute world to me. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay sweet!